I was injured in November 23rd, 2003. Uh, we were out on an orientation patrol um, along the Pakistan-Afghanistan border. Vehicle struck an anti-tank mine that was uh, being accelerated by 50 pounds of C4. I suffered a uh, above the knee amputation on the left hand side. Third degree burns along on 35% of my right leg, shattered left elbow, severe jaw laceration, uh, missing four teeth. We currently live on, on, on post, and on post housing is a general floor plan. It's a general house, but it's nowhere near uh, handicap accessible. I don't use my wheelchair in, in the house. All of my maneuvering in the house is either done with my prosthetic on or on a pair of crutches, or um, I, I'll scoot around on my bottom. Like in our bedroom, for example, we can, our bed is in there but there's not enough room for, for me to get my chair around and into the bathroom. There's no way to manipulate the furniture around to allow you accessibility to the bathroom and the master, you know, or to uh, up alongside the beds in the children's room. One thing that I notice the most is um, the shower, the, the bathroom area. It's difficult, um, you know, when water is build, you know, when you're taking a shower, it gets wet. Well, it's, it's slippery for anybody. That's the biggest problem, you know, as far as harming himself even further. The stove is also an issue in the kitchen because it's a, um, if he were in his chair, if he was able to be in his chair, he couldn't get under, you know, to, do, to utilize the stove. He'd have to turn sideways, which that's a, a risk as well. My body's taken a lot of wear and tear of using those crutches. You know, I, I wear my leg almost almost from 5.30 in the morning and I, until I go to bed 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. That starts putting a lot of stress and, and it's really taken its toll on my, on, my, on my good side, on my knee and my hip and my ankle and stuff. Once we get this specially adapted house constructed and we're living in it, I'm not going to have to worry about that. I'm not going to have to worry about trying to conserve myself. I, I'm going to be, have so many different options for maneuverability within the house that, that I'm going to be able to come home if I want to use my crutches, I'll use my crutches. If I want to use my wheelchair, I can use my wheelchair and I'll be able to get everywhere in the house that all the rest of the family is going to be able to go. I see the struggles that he goes through daily and, um, and, and I know that life was not like that before. You know, just to, to go to the bathroom, um, something that we take for granted. This is a blessing that you are giving to us. And uh, I'm very thankful, and our family is very thankful because it uh, will improve um, our daily living and uh, be a heavy burden that's lifted. Um, so we're very grateful and very thankful. When I was injured, I thought that I would never be able to hold my child. There were so many things that I thought that I was never going to be able to do again. And just to get back to that, that normalcy of life, to provide a home that's going to do that as a gift, is, it's, like, it's like taking an eagle and releasing it out of a cage that's been in a cage for five years, you know, and just releasing it and let it go. That's what it's going to feel like to me to be in that house.